Welcome to Glasgow. I'm going to have a series of adventures now in Glasgow and the surrounding areas. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, there is no plan whatsoever, but that's the way it is. So like, subscribe and um, oh, remove one of your shoes and throw it at a cat. I think that's, uh, oh, perhaps you shouldn't do that. Uh, that's probably not a good idea because if you're a footballer, you'll get um, arrested and fined and whatever. So don't throw it at a cat, just throw it up in the air in joyful, uh, joyful um, jubilation because you're subscribing now and sharing and all that sort of stuff to uh, goodness gray's site. What fun, eh? Tell the folk where you are and what you're doing. What I'm doing? Well, I'm in Glasgow and I'm in a park whose name I really can't remember. And we're going for a walk with our friends here. You get all this really useful travel information from uh, this channel. Okay. <laughs> we I tell you how it is. I've been that oh, right. It's Rukun. Glen Park. Okay. And that's it. Right. Do not swim in the pond here and do not have barbecues. That's that's the information. See that's just the sort of thing that a travel channel should tell you. And we should tell you some history as well. We we're going to get round to history doing more history however we have not got a clue what the history of this is but it's a park it's in glasgow glasgow seems to have lots of parks yes well it's just stopped raining it's even better <laughs> now then since uh you probably don't know anything about this place either. I can say whatever I like. See, Rob Roy met Ivanhoe here and they both, well, set up an ice cream store in the 15th century and invented golf on this very spot. Now, apparently there are 63 parks in Glasgow and this is not one of them because apparently it's just outside Glasgow or, or at least the uh, remit of the Glasgow Council. Anyway, notice it's uh, the name is Rolken and here we have something that looks, well, quite frankly, it all looks very Japanese, doesn't it? Even the name sounds Japanese. But could be Japan. I'm going to pretend it's Japan. Much more exotic than Glasgow. There you are. Yes. We're in a Scottish Glen. Now then, if you were brought up in the 50s, as soon as you say the word Glen, you think, oh, Robin Hood and his merry men riding through the Glen. Well, he didn't ride anywhere up here because this is Scotland. Oh, apparently we're going somewhere else. Just been called back. It doesn't matter what you say here because the water is so loud that uh, nobody will be able to hear you. Now, are we having a um, coffee and cake? Is that is that the plan? Because you know, this this would be the place to have it. <laughs> Look, Helen, they sell ice cream here. Yeah. Hello, dog. Hmm. <laughs> Well, 
we're at Troon outside of Glasgow Ayrshire all that stuff so t tell us about Troon Tell us about Troon. Um, I'll ask the Scottish. Okay, I'll ask, ask my expert uh, on all things Scottish. Troon, I don't know. It's got a golf course. Um, it's next to Preswick Airport, as you can see. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> Airplane. Um, it used to be a very popular holiday resort back in the 60s for the locals. You yeah, know. well, the uh, factory over there, or whatever it is, must have been it's part of the attraction. Yeah, there was a harbour. I mean, originally. Harbour did actually obviously have cold things going out from it, as did Urban. Um, but nowadays I have no idea. Alright, there you go. There you go. Straight from the local's mouth, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, another, another piece of tr good travel information for you there. And all, all our fans in Venezuela um, who are watching this um, will, will no doubt benefit from that piece of sound sound advice about. Well, the people who warned me I was going to be on camera. I refreshed my memory, but at my age I can't remember. We yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, people excuse. Yeah. I couldn't cope with the sand beach. I can't cope with it's hard to imagine that this actually was a popular, or well maybe still that is, seaside resort. Because it looks bloody cold, and this is the middle of summer, one of the warmest summers ever. But it ain't warm right this moment. And uh, as you can see, it's. Hmm. Not exactly the same as uh, those big muddy beaches that uh, we came across in Malaysia that you can see if you uh, look at some of the early videos. It's a scenic splendour. What? What? Uh, I need to know is everything you need to know about the design down there. You can read it off. <laughs> oh right, I was going to say because we're we're in where where's what's the Scottish pronunciation of the name here? Irvin. 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 There you go. We know how to say Scottish words now. <laughs> Irvin. Irvin. In the earliest days, boats were beached in the town at the foot of Seagate, and for a short time further downriver. But by 1596, the harbour was so filled with sand that it is unremediable. So the port, as we see it today, started in 1677, and by 1760, Irvine was the third port Irvine. of Scotland. Irvine, Irvine was the third port of Scotland taken over by Clyde and by and somewhere else. Commercial train died in the mid-90s. Well, so why is there, there a horse skin? Is it moving? Shall we move the uh, little cargo? And he's got a red face. Um, Pollocks. These are food. Patties. Yeah. Bubbly jobs. Neeps. Saudi, ginger, that means pot or bit of drink in other languages, pretty. So, what, what, piece. But what's a bubbly jock? I don't know, that's the only one I don't know. Pollops is like a scallop. No, it is. Yeah. Patty is potatoes, neeps is turnips. Saudi is a dessert kind of thing. Or is it? No, it's cheese. Cheese by the rodeo thing. Pretty is a, a cloth that you would make a dumpling. And a genie piece is a jelly sandwich. A jelly as in jam. Yeah. And a dram, of course. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I, 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 I,
<laughs> Stromish and kafufu. Lai. Wishja. Wishja. Sounds Irish to me. Little Kelpies. <laughs> <laughs>